the statue that we unveil today is not done in mourning for his passing, as so many monuments are, but it's done in celebration and in deep respect and gratitude. This statue will stand as testament to Mandela and by extension to the values that he defended and fought for, for racial equality, for non-discrimination, and for the incredible value and dignity of human life. We remember a man of great wisdom, quiet dignity, and towering achievement, who worked tirelessly for peace and human dignity for people everywhere. This is our organization's purpose, and as leaders, it is our responsibility. Let us commit to build on Nelson Mandela's legacy so that all people everywhere can enjoy peace, prosperity, and inclusive and sustainable development. One of the highlights of the Nelson Mandela Peace Summit at the 73rd United Nations General Assembly, ONGA, was the adoption of a political declaration by the United Nations General Assembly in commemoration of the centenary of the birth of the late South African president. Beyond the celebration, speakers identified conflict and hostility as some of the biggest challenges on the African continent that have continued to make peace a mirage. As we strive for peace, we cannot escape the reality that conflict and hostility have their roots in poverty, exclusion and marginalization. Unless we confront the conditions under which the poor of the world live, we will not succeed in building a peaceful and stable world. It is time for every leader here to take responsibility. Those who are directly involved in the atrocities plaguing our world, those who take sides, and those who sit in silence. As leaders of this time, you have moral imperative and the ability to bring the death and destructions we witness on a daily basis to an end. So how can emerging African leaders key into the legacy of Nelson Mandela for sustainable peace on the continent?